Hello everyone. So let's study math for your ATITs. These are simple questions, yet they are very helpful because um, they are similar to the T's exam. So I have here like at least 15 questions. The first one, which number is less than all the others? Is it A, one, negative 115 or B, negative 15, C, 0? or D 15 the answer would be negative 15 because when you look at the number line 15 is way to the left and it has lesser value and then negative 15 is closer to 0 which is the positive and so the answer would be negative 15 okay number two Evaluate the expression 10 times negative 10. So when you multiply numbers with different signs, you have to copy the negative sign. So 10 times negative 10 is negative 100. But if you multiply 10 times 10, which are both positive, the answer of course is would, be, would be 100. Then number three, divide 25 by 5. So this is very easy. Sometimes it, like the T's exam, um, the questions are really easy. You just have to be very quick and um, vigilant. So five divided by 20, 25 divided by 5 is 5. When you check, if the answer is correct, you just have to multiply it. 5 times 5 equals 25. Okay. Then number four questions, number four question, which decimal is the greatest? Is it A, 1.6265 or B, 1.4200, C, 1.7614 or D, 1.008? Um, obviously, the greatest number is 1.7614 because next to the decimal point is 7, whereas the rest has 0, four and six so the answer is C then number five which decimal is the least so you just have to like think which one is the least number after the decimal point so they are all the same eight point something and this one letter A is 8.2504 and B is 8.5024 C is 8.4025 and D is 8.0245. As you can see, it, uh, 0 is next to the decimal point, which is less than the rest of the number. So the answer is letter D. Then, number 6 question. Solve the equation 3x minus 5 plus 3 plus 2x equals 2x minus x plus 8. First, you have to combine like terms. And when combining like terms, if you move the um, the numbers on the right to the left, the, the sign would change. So this one, we collect like terms 3x plus 2x, which is this one. And 2x in here becomes negative 2x, 2x when you move it to the left side, plus um, x because here is negative equals 5 minus 3 plus 8 so 5 in here is negative so we put it as positive in here and 3 in here is positive so it's going to be negative and then 8 remains the same because we didn't move the 8 um, so we collect like terms equals 4x equals 10 and then you have to divide both sides by 4 to eliminate this on this side so x equals 10 over 4 or um, you always have to reduce the answer into lowest term which is x equals to 5 halves or if there's an option that says 2 and 1 half that's correct too because 5 halves is equal to 2 and 1 half okay next question Number seven, solve the equation to find the value of x. y is equal to mx plus b. So we want to find the value of x. First of all, you have to um, simplify, simplify one term. So in here, we, we have y 
and then b on the other side if you move it to the left it becomes negative so y minus b is equal to mx then to in order to be able to obtain just the x you have to divide both sides by m so y minus b over m is equal to m over m times x which is um, m over m divided by m is 1 or just x eliminate cancel x it goes like this um, y minus b over m is equals to m over m x you divide both sides by m so that what is left is just x so now um, y over b uh, y minus b over m is equal to x that's the answer then number eight divide one and one half divided by two and two third first change to improper fraction improper fraction if it's in the mixed form so we have here three halves divided by eight over three one and one half is equal to three halves and two and two third is equal to eight over three then find the reciprocal for the second term so the recipro reciprocal for eight over three is 3 over 8. So 3 halves, same as this one, times 3 over 8 is equal to 3 times 3 is 9, and 2 times 8 is 16. That's the lowest term that you can go. You cannot reduce it anymore. So next, number 9, multiply 2 and 1 half times 3 and 1 fourth. First, um, just like division, you have to change to improper fraction. 5 halves times 13 over 4 is equal to, but uh, in this case, in multiplication, you do not need to find the reciprocal, only in division. So you just have to multiply numerator times the numerator and then denominator times denominator. Then you, you have to reduce your answer to the lowest term. So the answer is 5 times 13 is equal, oh, this is wrong. 5 times 13, let me see. 13 times 5. 5 times 5 is 5. Uh, 5 times 3 is 5, girl. One. So, sorry. It's, um, this is wrong. Okay, um, 5 times 13 equals 5 times 3 is 5, girl. 1. 5 times 1 is 65. So, this is supposed to be 65 over 8. So, if you reduce it to lowest term, so it should be 8 and 1, 8, which is, look, 8 times 8 is 64 plus 1 is 65, 65 over 8. So, the answer is 8 and 1, 8. Okay. That's the correct answer. Then, number 10, solve x cubed is equal to 27. So you have to simplify if the twenty uh, on the if the number on the right side is a perfect root. So right here I have um, x cube is equal to x cube. I mean x cube is equal to three cube, and it goes like this: three times three times three. Three times three is um, nine times 3 equals 27 so it's a perfect root then you just have to cancel the exponent to find the value of x which is 3 now the answer is x is equal to 3 so all these um, math questions that I've um, used in here are similar to the ATIT's exam so you don't need any scientific calculator they will provide you a basic calculator um, um, what is that icon when you're taking the test so here convert 100 pounds to kilogram solution uh, we start from the bigger number 100 pounds times 1 kilogram over 2.2 pounds as we know that 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds you have to memorize this uh, number or i think sometimes they will provide this number to you or um equation so 100 divided by 2.2 is equal to 45.45 kilogram that is the answer then next 11 
A store has 100 pounds of apples. Five customers buy 4.3 pounds. Six customers buy 8.4 pounds. And one customer buy 6.4 pounds. How many pounds are left in stock? This one, um, this question is very important because um, as far as I can remember, there's one question that was similar to this. Solution. So five customers buy uh, 4.3 pounds is Okay, 5 times 4.3 is 21.5. And 6 times 8.4 is equal to 50.4. And then 1 times 6.4 is equal to 6.4. So all in all, we have 78.3 pounds. And the question is, how many pounds are left in stock? Total stock was 100 and minus 78.3 equals 21.7 pounds left. Number 13, convert 15,000 ounces to tons. This is a little bit difficult, but if you know your conversion method, then you would not be, have a hard time answering this question. 15,000 ounces times 1 pound is equal to 16 ounces times 1 ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. So the answer is 15,000 divided by 32,000. Cancel the pound here and cancel the pound here. Cancel the ounces here and cancel the ounces. I should have started from here. So we first we cancel ounce and ounce and pound and pound. What is remaining is ton, which is in the question. That's what we're looking for. So the answer is right here. 0.146875 ton so usually they would tell you um, round it off to nearest hundredth so just two digits so six and eight eight is um, more than five so you have to uh, add one to this one so the answer is 0 0.47 ton okay number 13 a cubic storage bin has a volume of 343 cubic feet what is the length of one side in feet? Solution. Uh, is 343 a perfect root? We will find out. And side, uh, cube has three sides. So here, I tried uh, 7 times 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49 times 7 is 343. So you just uh, use 7 as your base and then three, 1, 2, 3, then that would be your exponent 3. So 7 to the power of 3 is equal to s to the power of 3. Since they have the same power, 7 to the power of 3 and s to the power of 3, you just cancel the power so you will find to obtain the side. So s is equal to 7. This is the answer. So I have here a note. Apply the cube root. Okay, number 14. Convert 100 kilogram to grams. This is a lot easier, but this is uh, commonly used in medi medical field. So 100 kilogram times 1,000 gram over 1 kilogram. As we know that 1,000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. So we, we want to find the grams, right? Now we have to cancel this gram, kilogram and kilogram. Then you just have to multiply this one. Give me one second, you guys. 100 times 1,000 is... 100,000 grams. That's the answer. Okay, last one. What is 50% of 60? This is very easy. Just multiply 60. 50% uh, is equal to 0.50 in decimal point. So 60 times 0 0.50 is equal to 30, 0, 0. And then you count the number of decimal places. 1, 2, and then 1, 2, and then cross that out so the answer is 30 i hope this video helps and if you have any requests or questions just feel free to comment below and good luck with your t's exam bye